No, NBA young boy, you have money. How dare you still be ratchet? What type of standard are we setting when we still want the filth of our society to be the upstanding citizen in our society? Welcome back to Same Old Got Some Reheated. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell me how you feel. Let's talk about it. Now, we're here to talk about NBA young boy being on Bootlegs Kev show, saying that he's not big on fatherhood, like you see right here. How important is fatherhood to you, man? Mm. Um, not really big on it, to be honest. Now, we're here to talk about um, Charlemagne giving NBA young boy the donkey of the day after that Bootleg Kev snippet came out. Now, like I said before, when I talk about these young rappers, especially the dudes, woo, their fans are sticklers for the facts, right? You don't know him. I really didn't go to jail. He killed 50, 100 people. Like, they act crazy in the comments when you talk about these little boys as artists and how gangster they is and all that, right? Um, So... When I have this conversation with people and I talk about it, you know, everybody tries to make me a believer that NBA young boy, cold, cold stone gangster, just he blow your head off, walk over and your mama slap her, spit in her face. Man, they convince me of it every time. I'm not convinced in my mind because I understand that when you're black being over policed, if you was that cold with it, you, yeah, you'll be you'll be caught up, and see now we see he's out in Utah losing his mind because what them laws done did to him. Oh no, you're gonna stay confined in this space, and if anything go left out here, you gonna go back. So I don't want to hear how much of a uh, a, a big gangster he is. Now that's just me. But now let's get into what Charlemagne was talking about. Hey there, trivia lovers. Get ready to embark on a journey through black entertainment culture, sports, and fashion. Can you answer these questions that'll take you back in time? Question one. In the world of music and entertainment, what's the name of Beyonce's first solo tour? It was the unforgettable Dangerously in Love tour. Question two. In the realms of music and fashion, can you recall the song Tupac performed at the Versace Fashion Show? It was the legendary California love. Question three. Turning to the sports arena, how many games did the legendary Kobe Bryant play during his NBA career? It was an astounding 1,346 games. Question four. In the world of cinema and family fun, what was the name of the amusement park in the movie Bebe's Kids? If you guessed Fun World, you are correct. Get ready to challenge yourself, family, and friends as you dive into a world of trivia. Visit withoutgoogle.store to get your own trivia game today. It's your passport to a world of knowledge and fun. If everyone is believing that he's this Monster is gangster. Can he talks about killing in his songs all day, every day? Every time we see this man, he has a blunt in his hand. So you know he's under the influence of some sort of substance. And this is who we are putting a standard on to say, no, you need to be a good father. What? What what are we saying? And I don't know, man. Maybe it's just time to get back to what do these terms actually mean? Y'all are convinced that he's a gangster. Y'all tell me that he's a gangster. So we want gangsters to be these big old family men. Like how it is in the movies. And just like Charlemagne said in his donkey of the day, Jay-Z said, well, who, huh? Excuse me? 
Jay-Z said what? Oh, gangster is when you take care of your whole family. No, gangsters have been presented to us as people who do crime. And they don't care about the repercuss repercussions of those crimes. That's what a gangster is. A person that provides for their family is just a person that provides for their family. NBA Youngboy does that as well. So maybe he... Where is the connection? Where is the human connection that he's getting to where he's supposed to be this wonderful father that everybody wants him to be? He has 11 children, which we obviously see that he's pumping and dumping in anybody who allow him to. And we supposed to say, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a dad right there. And when he tell us out his mouth, no, I ain't, I ain't really fucking with these kids like that. We say, no, oh my God, oh, you're not. You know, if you've been here from when it was conversations with me and all that, you know that that I know that this is common. Yeah, we see it with NBA young boy because he's famous and all that. But I've been told y'all that people got mannequins in their house. They don't care about these kids. And what I mean by mannequins is you keep that mannequin fed, clothed, and that's it. You don't pour no real emotion into them. You don't pour no knowledge into them. You don't give them anything. And that's been happening for years. Because even in this video, in that clip where Charlemagne was doing the whole um, donkey of the day, he was talking about we're breaking generational curses. Okay, that's fine and dandy for you, Charlemagne. It's fine and dandy for me to not want my children to grow up how I grew up. But we still must understand that there is a sector of black society that is still ratchet as fuck. And we see it up and down our timelines every day. You, you give people donkey of the day every day for doing stupid stuff. And we're supposed to be like, no, NBA young boy, you have money. How dare you still be ratchet? What type of standard are we setting when we still want the filth of our society to be the upstanding citizen in our society. Hey man, once again, when people show you who they are, believe them. Y'all convinced he's a gangster. He's told us he's a gangster. And what do we want from gangsters to be cold? That's it. Why are we looking for them to be family men? Because that's what you've seen on Good fellas, because that's what you've seen on The Godfather and all these other mobster movies that you're influenced by. I got a video coming out later on where a guy said he could relate to Scarface more than he could relate to a guy that was in a Tyler Perry movie. What the fuck are we talking about? What? And I don't know if you want to be just that extreme because you want to get your point across. But when somebody's really listening to you, and not just listening to respond so quickly and ba 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 and chew your neck off. You sound crazy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I came across every walk of life in my 36 years of living. But what I am saying is I've never ever in my life met a person who kills government officials. Who do coke all day. Sold coke all day. Build the whole city in Miami. And is mad because he uh, can't have kids with his wife where he also killed her husband and took her. I'm sorry. I don't know that man. I don't know that dude. And you don't either. But you do know a lawyer because the lawyers played in Tyler Perry's movies. Yeah, you do know a dude who done whooped off in his wife's ass because that's the kind of character that played in Tyler Perry movies. You do know a dude that have a regular job and provides for his family and wants to do right by his daughters because that's the dude that's been in Tyler Perry movies. So let's stop putting that nasty little stigma on Tyler Perry. Yeah, the acting might not be great. Yeah, it might be buffoonery in some of them movies. But what I'm saying is that's more realistic. And although I'm done, went off on a tangent and went that way, all I'm saying is if y'all believe that NBA young boy is really that gangster, stone cold, hardcore. 
We see he's under the influence. We see his record label and them laws got him out in Utah. If we really believe all this stuff, then why are we expecting him to be a great goddamn dad? <laughs> it's just a big contradiction. And I think that's where we get mixed up as black people. Hey, man, you leave the ratchet. This is where they at. <laughs> Let them do what they going to do. You leave the people who woke, quote unquote, you let them do what they going to do. You, the people who get into the paper, you let them do what they going to do. Because y'all only want to be a community when something bad is happening. When something good is happening, yeah, you want to be a community as well. But when you, when it's going so good and you seeing a knucklehead in the crew, you like, uh-uh, uh, go back home, leave this nigga alone. And you know what I'm saying? So we do start to go back into the whole individualism of it. Man, that's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got on this subject. Just It just blow my mind, man. We have to get back to the terminology of what things mean. We can't be caught up in this movie and this entertainment so much to where we feel like these are the facts. <laughs>